thousands and thousands are packing their way into queues to file past the Queen lying in state. Somba, we're told those crowds are four and a bit miles long, seven or eight hours, but Annalise Nielsen will know more. Annalise Nielsen, Sky News reporter, joining us live now. Well, you've been talking to, to everyone you can find, uh, Annalise. You've got some beautiful tributes filmed. When I went uh, down there in and around for the package a little bit later on, uh, my producers got a bit teary, but you tell us what you're hearing. Look, what we're hearing is just a real outpouring of grief. This is quite an unusual thing in the United Kingdom, as we mentioned, to have just such a public display of grief. But people coming out have been telling us they've been waiting seven, eight, nine hours to get to this point, and we've yet to meet anyone who says that they aren't completely glad that they did it. What we are hearing is that it is a very sombre moment, but we'll try and see if we can grab someone coming out who can tell us better in their own words. Perhaps these ladies, hello, how are you? How, did, how was that experience? Very moving. So moving. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. But it's a lifelong wish, isn't it, that something like this that we could take part in. Oh we got up at two o'clock to come this morning from North Wales. Wow. Oh my gosh, so how far did you have to travel? Oh, is it about 240 miles, I think. North Wales, yeah. yeah. So it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth definitely. It. What's it like being in there? I've heard that it's completely silent oh, as you walk through. Silent, silent. You don't hear anything. And, nothing. and they stand so still. That's unbelievable, that isn't it? This will be my mother <laughs> yeah. wanting Very to good. know. Oh my <laughs> it's God. worth going. It's worth doing. Absolutely. Yeah. If you get the opportunity. There you go. And what are you going to miss the most about the Queen? Everything. Stability, the fact, the respect that she, that we have for her. It's like, it's like a member of the family died, isn't it? You know, because all my life, all I've ever known is the Queen. So... But then I'm looking forward to change as well, and I look forward to Charles being king. You feel the same? Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Peter, the other thing I wanted to show you, because it shows just how much of an operation this is, if you look around here, these are trucks actually removing the traffic lights from all around where the Westminster area. These streets are all going to be closed. But can you just think, imagine the absolute amount of organisation it takes to coordinate something like this, to remove traffic lights, just so those shots are all perfect for that final trip of the coffin through London before uh, the Queen ends up at rest in Windsor. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing that we're witnessing right now in London. Uh, you're absolutely right. They're incredibly professional. I've never seen anything like the precision that we're seeing here at, at all levels, not just military precision, but right down to the organisational level. Annalise, thank you.